Charlotte Noel Helps Christmas Come Sooner by Sylvia Tabor One day, Charlotte Noel was playing with her toys when she suddenly noticed something new. Oh, it wasn't new. It was her Nutcracker toy. This was a toy she forgot about because she hadn't seen it since last Christmas. She took it to her mommy. Mommy, I want Christmas to come today, Charlotte Noel said. Her mommy laughed. But my sweetheart, we have to wait one more month until Christmas. How long is one month? One month has four weeks, her mommy explained. Charlotte Noel thought for a second, then asked, and how long is one week? One week has seven days. Charlotte Noel became a little sad because she really wanted Christmas to come today and one month seemed so long. Her mommy saw this and told her, my sweetheart, you know what? We can do something to help Christmas come sooner. Charlotte Noel gasped. Oh really? How can we do that, mommy? We can start making Christmas decorations and we'll have lots of fun spending time together. Christmas will be here before you know it, her mommy promised. I love Christmas decorations, Charlotte Noel exclaimed, but I thought you could only buy them in the store. Sure, we can buy them in the store, but we can also make them ourselves. Yes, mommy, let's help Christmas come sooner. Charlotte Noel was really excited about making decorations with her parents. The next day, Charlotte Noel went to the park with her daddy. After spending some time on the swings, she helped him look for pine cones. She didn't know why her mommy wanted them to bring pine cones home, but she liked finding them. When they came home, her mommy washed all the pine cones and put them by the window to dry. Charlotte Noel was very curious. Once they were dry, mommy put the pine cones on the table and brought some paints and brushes over. Now, I want you to paint these pine cones different colors, her mommy said. Charlotte Noel nodded and happily painted the pine cones for what seemed like hours. When she was done, her mommy sprinkled some colorful glitter over them. Charlotte Noel loved their creation. The pine cones were so beautiful and sparkling. They put all the pine cones aside. Once the paint was dry, her mommy glued all the green pine cones together and made a beautiful little Christmas tree. She took a golden snowflake out of the art box and put it on top. Daddy put the little Christmas tree on the bookshelf and told his little girl, Beautiful work, sweetheart. Now Christmas is one day closer. Charlotte Noel went to sleep very happy, and she had a lovely dream. In her dream, she saw a reindeer with a red sleigh. The reindeer stopped and greeted her. Hello, Charlotte Noel. I want to thank you for helping Christmas come sooner. You did a good job today. Thank you, reindeer. But where are you going? Charlotte Noel asked. I'm going to pick up Santa Claus. He's prepared many gifts for all the children and he needs the sleigh, the reindeer explained. Say hi to Santa Claus from me, Charlotte Noel said. The reindeer nodded. I certainly will, and I'll tell him about your help. Charlotte Noel didn't want to leave her magical dream. As soon as she woke up, she went to her parents and told them about her dream. She asked, what kind of decorations are we doing today? I want to help more. Oh, today we'll do a Christmas wreath, her mommy said. Now let's find some old decorations we can use. Making a Christmas wreath looked like a lot of work because the table had so many things on it. Scissors, evergreen branches, wires, pine cones, and many different kinds of Christmas ornaments. Charlotte Noel helped her mommy, and little by little, the wreath started to look like one she'd seen in the store before. She was proud of all their hard work, so she ran to show the wreath to her daddy after it was finished. Daddy, where do we put this one? Charlotte Noel asked. Daddy smiled. Come with me and you'll see. When they went outside, her daddy put the Christmas wreath on the front door. Now it was really starting to feel more like Christmas. Charlotte Noel couldn't wait to see what they do tomorrow. That night, she had another beautiful dream. In her dream, she saw many snowmen. Some were small, some were big. They were smiling at her. Hello, Charlotte Noel, come play with us, 
they called. Charlotte Noel had lots of fun playing snowball fights with them in her dream. After coming home from school the next afternoon, her mommy took her to the garage. They picked out a box and brought it to the living room. Charlotte Noel opened it and saw so many decorations. Mommy, what are we going to do with all these decorations? Charlotte Noel wondered. We're going to use them to make our home look more Christmassy, Mommy said. So they started to decorate their stairs with colorful baubles and Christmas lights. Then they put stickers on the windows. When they finished, their house looked very festive. Charlotte Noel could feel Christmas approaching more and more. She looked around and said, Mommy, our house looks so much like Christmas, but something is missing. Her mommy nodded. You're right, my dear, but we should go to sleep now. You'll understand what's missing tomorrow. As soon as she woke up, Charlotte Noel waited to see what was missing. She heard the car coming into the garage and knew her daddy was home. After she opened the door, she now understood what was missing. It was the Christmas tree, of course. How can Christmas come without a Christmas tree? Her daddy arranged the tree in the corner of the living room and brought out two big boxes of decorations and Christmas lights. For the rest of the day, the little girl decorated the Christmas tree with her mommy and daddy. When they were finished, her daddy picked her up, sat her on his shoulders, and gave her the big star to put on top of the tree. Once the star was up, Charlotte Noel's daddy turned on the lights and the magic began. After this, she asked her mommy, How much longer do we have to wait for Christmas to come? Not very long. We need to do one more thing. What? We'll make cookies for Christmas tomorrow, and we'll be ready after that, her mommy said. Can I help you, mommy? Of course you can help. Charlotte Noel went to sleep thinking about the cookies she'd help make tomorrow. And she had another dream. This time, she saw big gingerbread cookies and a gingerbread house. She was playing hide and seek around it with her cousins. Later the next day, as her mommy promised, they baked lots of cookies. They had snowflakes, bells, reindeers, stars, and many other different shapes. They were so delicious. When her daddy came home, she gave him a cookie. Daddy, I helped mommy make the cookies. Daddy took a big bite out of a cookie. Oh, it's so delicious. Can Christmas come now, daddy? Oh yes, today is Christmas Eve. When you wake up in the morning, you'll have a surprise. Charlotte Noel smiled. I love surprises. The next morning, Charlotte Noel woke up before everyone else and went to the Christmas tree. There were so many gifts under it. She started looking for the ones with her name on them and couldn't wait to see what was inside. She was so surprised to find exactly what she'd wished for. She thought this was because she had been nice all year helped her parents with the decorations, and helped Christmas come sooner. And she was sure that the reindeer in her dream told Santa Claus about her. This was her best Christmas yet.